Hey everyone, it's Baron from Attack Interactive and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to process an order. Here we are on our dashboard. Um, we see some statistics going on over here. As you can see we have our last five orders listed here. Uh, you can choose to go to that order page real quick from your dashboard. Uh, if you click on one of these orders it's going to take you to that order page. Uh, we're not going to do that now because we can have the same access on from our sales um, tab. If we click on orders it's going to bring us all the orders so let's actually um, let me summarize this page real quick and then we're gonna take a look of our orders so um, if you remember in our first video I talked about dashboard a little bit what you can do over here is you can just list um, the orders that has been created 24 hours ago seven days current month or two years till now um, this can help you to see what's going on in your store uh, it can help you to improve yourself you can see the most viewed products customers new customers um, top five search terms, last five search terms, and the orders of course. So actually let's click on the last order we've created with our test account um, to show you the order page real quick. So which order you're gonna, whichever order you're gonna click, uh, it's gonna have this layout. This is the order page layout. So um, let's actually go to our sales tab and click on orders. So let's take a look at everything we can see so here we are on the order page uh, as you can see we can ha we have some completed orders we have some pending orders um, we have and we have 11 orders in total so what we can do here is I just wanna see the pending orders I'm down with the complete orders so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort them um, by their status and I'm gonna choose pending so it's only gonna show me the pending orders right now we have two pending orders what we can do also is we can choose all the orders from select visible which is gonna choose whatever is down here and then we can choose an action from the list like let's assume you wanna print every order that has been created and keep a track you can just choose print all submit and it's gonna print, e print everything that exists here so right now we have the pending orders let's click on the um, one of the pending orders I think this one was created before. So as you can see, um, it brings all the data that um, it collected from the customer. You have your customer name, email, the customer group. You can have a wholesale group, different pricing, whatsoever. Right now the order is pending. Um, there's this billing address, there's a shipping address. These are all just random numbers and this is a test account and the test store. Just so you know, we um, your customer chose a flat rate which is ten dollars um, and wanted the money check money order and the order was placed in the United States dollars um, you can see the total amount you can always choose to add a comment to the um, customer or yourself so here if you write a comment and click on submit this is just gonna be a comment for yourself your customer is not gonna see this but if you say um, if you put another comment and say notify customer by email and submit it's gonna send that comment to your customer so um, let's continue what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna have to choose click on ship so let's assume you shipped your items and came back to your page and click on clicked on order and then clicked on ship so here you are you shipped your order and you're ready to put some information for your customer so when you ship the order it's gonna show you once once again the same information you had the page before it's gonna show you the shipping address the billing address which you can edit it anytime you want let's assume your customer wanted to change the address he can't he can't change it from after placing the order but you can always go back and change it and then ship it if desired so um, let's assume you shipped your items and you wanna add a tracking number for your customer so what you have to do is you're gonna choose the um, company that you chose to ship your items and you're gonna have to put a tracking number and then add it so that your um, customer is gonna have access to that items to ship right here and we came to the end of the page once again you can put a comment to yourself um, let's assume shipping done um, you can just submit it for yourself for you to view it later on or you can notify your customer 
by um, choosing the um, same option uh, notify customer by email and you can always submit it so um, we just shipped our order and what we have here is invoice and reorder so what you might want to do is after shipping the order you might want to invoice it so you're gonna have to click on invoice and you're gonna have to finish the status like complete this order like change its status to complete by doing this so once again you have some information over what you did before or the order and um, you're gonna have to submit this invoice so you can always send the copy of the invoice without any comments which means only this part of your um, page you can always send it as an email to your customer um, same goes with the uh, shipping information or anything we did until now or you can also add a comment to yourself note to self and submit it or you can add the comment to the email by clicking on append comments so if we do it like this we're gonna send the notes and the invoice to the customer so let's submit and finish complete our order the invoice has been created so right now the um, order status has been changed it's complete it's not gonna be pending anymore and you can also choose to view what you did on the menu on the left you can um, choose to add credit memos so you can see your comment history what happened um, what changed you can see the transactions uh, you can find the credit memo over here but if you need to um, do something like that you're gonna have to um, click on credit memo on top of the list so let's go to our order again um, I just left the page so I'm gonna have to go to orders page and I'm then I'm gonna have to choose the um, completed order so let's do that together um, let's see the completed orders all right the last order I completed was this one so click on top of that you're gonna see the credit memo part you can always choose to do this if desired uh, you're gonna have to come and um, change the put some refund numbers return to stock or whatever you gotta do uh, you can do it from here you can send a comment um, on the email or you can only send the receipt the information listed over here alright so this sums everything up on how to process an order. Once again, it's Baron from Attack Interactive, and thank you for watching this video.